This is a huge milestone. It says that we've reviewed the safety, the efficacy, and the entire process of manufacturing a vaccine, and that it's, it's ready for people to take the vaccine. We want to make sure that we protect healthcare workers first, and the reason for that is we're the line of defense for the vaccine. We're out there helping people if they get it, um, recover from it, and to provide treatment for those individuals. That really depends upon supply, and we've had some very optimistic uh, pro projections from both the uh, federal government and from the state as well. It's going to be in the first quarter, I would say, you know, maybe February, March at the, at the earliest. This uh, vaccine is a different type of vaccine in that it actually uses your cellular machinery that replicates to actually create the, anti the antibody uh, that would then protect you against COVID-19. That is an absolute myth. Getting the vaccine will not give you COVID. This is not a live attenuated vaccine like we have seen with some of the others. This is a vaccine that does generate antibodies, but it does not contain any components of the virus and it's not a live virus at all. All indications at this point is the vaccine is safe. With the, the two front uh, line vaccines, the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines, uh, there were no serious adverse uh, effects that were noted during the trial. And I, I would like to say that the trials had over 30,000 people in them. It wasn't like we did a you know 50 or 60 people trial and then released the vaccine. So right now, under the conditions they were given in the trial, they look very safe. I am convinced uh, based on what we've seen that this is a safe vaccine and is efficacious. And for that reason, I'm gonna get the vaccine. It's pretty clear to me, we need to continue to wear our masks Stay, stay socially distanced, avoid crowds outside of our home, and um, first and foremost, be careful out there. It's still a pandemic. It is very important to continue wearing your mask. There's a, a couple of reasons for this. Number one, which is probably the most important, is that we haven't vaccinated enough of the population to generate that herd immunity. The second point is that while we do know that this vaccine protects you, the recipient, from getting illness, we still don't know whether the virus could infect and replicate and perhaps you could be transmissible to another person. So we're still waiting uh, for studies to look at that. We want to make sure that the, the vaccine, uh, we know that the vaccine protects you, but we also want to make sure that it protects you from spreading it to other people. I have to say, um, hang in there folks, it's on its way and uh, be hopeful and encouraged I am.